Before we start, let us first briefly introduce the Sierra Papaluca language. The users of the language are mostly located in Sierra de los Tactiles, a mountain range in Mexico. A picture on the left shows this area on the Mexico map. The picture on the right is the region enlarged, and the areas marked in red and green are locations where the local languages are spoken. In particular, we have circled Sotiapenzoc in red, for this is the area where the Sierra Papaluca language is spoken. The following is its language family. The question here states that, in Sierra Papaluca, aspiration is a predictable aspect of the pronunciation of stop sounds. In addition, the symbol which looks like a question mark represents a glottal stop and is unaspirated in all contexts. The question asks you, based on the following transcriptions, to describe in detail the phonological context where p T, K, become aspirated. Here are some transcribed words of the Sierra Papaluca language. The words in quotes are corresponding English meaning. Firstly, we group these words according to whether the three phonemes P, T, K are aspirated. In the group on the left and marked in blue, the three sounds are all unaspirated. Meanwhile, in the group on the right and marked in purple are the aspirated sounds. Step 2. We compare the environments in the unaspirated group on the left and the aspirated group on the right. For the three phonemes, P, T, and K. After checking, we observe that there are two situations in which the three sounds are unaspirated. One, when the sound occurs at the onset of a syllable. And two, when the sound is followed by a consonant of the same manner and place of articulation. For example, when both sounds are bilabial stops, or are both alveolar stops, or are both filler stubs. In all other cases, the sounds are aspirated. So this is the answer for the question. Here we further explain why the three sounds become unaspirated when they are followed by another consonant of the same manner and place of articulation. Previously, we mentioned that when the three consonants p, t, k occur at the onset of a syllable, they are unaspirated. Let us imagine that unaspirated onset consonants are preceded by another consonant in the coda of the previous syllable. Because the two consonants are of the same manner and place of articulation, and the onset consonant is always unaspirated. It combines the consonants in the coda position to make them unaspirated too. We use the example circled in purple to explain. There are two syllables in this word. At the coda of the first syllable and the onset of the second syllable are two t sounds of the same manner and place of articulation. So, when pronounced together, they are combined. Because the sound t occurs at the onset of a syllable, it is unaspirated. Therefore, when it combines with t immediately preceding it, the non-aspiration is passed over to make the first t unaspirated too. The end result is two unaspirated consonantal t combining into a double consonant, also known as a long consonant. Lastly, we know that the repeated consonant can be represented by a colon symbol. <laughs>